Hey everybody! Welcome back to Northern Lion Plays Prison Architect. Shall we go? Um, we just added a bunch of new prisoners to our prison. Typically that means there's gonna be a little bit of a, uh, a period of adjustment. Why am I taking grass here? We just wanna, uh, kind of let things run for a couple of days. This episode, I imagine, is largely gonna consist of, uh, Checking to see how our prison runs, now that we have more people in it, checking in on our informants, and filling it up to capacity, because we still probably have one more day, maybe two if prisoners are being released uh, over the course of it, that uh, we, uh, we still have a lot of open cells, basically, is what I'm trying to get at. So we're building this yard out a little bit further here. Let's take this opportunity to also demolish these walls here. And once that's demolished, we'll stretch out our yard. And, you know, a bigger yard is not necessarily the be-all end-all when it comes to giving prisoners as much recreation as possible. The prison has expanded like ninefold since we, well not ninefold, but like fivefold since we expanded our yard though, so this will hopefully help out a little bit. And uh, we'll, we'll install some new stuff in here as well, you know, kind of keep up with the times because as of right now I don't think prisoners are doing very well from a recreational standpoint. So we'll put in another uh, batch of phone booths, I mean it's not a ton, but it's decent. And then we'll get our, uh, you know, weights area expanded a little bit here. It's expensive. It's 1300 bucks. Let's put another row down. We don't ever have that, that many people out here all at the same time, but still, I think it's worth doing. I'm also going to deck it out in grass because it just makes it look better when you have your yard decked out in grass. And grass, you know, that was 800 bucks. Relatively cheap, considering we get all our money from the taxpayer anyway. We'll also throw some lights out here. Why not? The government's footing the bill. Nope. For now. Accidentally unchecked that grass section there. I want our yard to look good because that's what people see when they first come uh, Well when they you first look at the prison. We're not gonna go up crazy and give everything a marble floor inside yet I think the default floors look pretty diverse already, uh, but yeah, we're gonna install some grass here. It just helps it look a little, look, looks a little nicer, doesn't it? You'll see once this get gets decked out. It looks a little nicer I'm not sure if it actually I, I think as of right now. It doesn't actually make the prisoners like any more likely to be relaxed, but hey man, it's feng shui. You gotta, you know, be the space you wanna see in the world. That doesn't really make any sense, but you get what I'm saying. All right, no, no riots. I do wanna take a quick look. I'm gonna be doing this periodically. There's a snitch. Might wanna put him in like protect protective custody or something. You're a confidential informant. Not only are you a confidential informant, but there's something about you we don't know. Instigator. I hate instigators. Shit disturbers is what I call them. We don't have anybody who's ex-law enforcement that we know at least. Let's activate them. And uh, maybe they'll learn a little bit as they come through here. I'm interested to know how more and more of them work, but uh, I might be activating them a little bit too often because I think they like get information and then we activate them and we learn something about them or we learn more about the people in the process. So I might be using them a little bit too often here. And they're all being spread out now, so it's kind of hard to tell what's up. Whoa, what the heck here? Informant is like, hey, something's not right with these guys. Yeah, search cell. Search cell. Search cell. You think this is Windows, man? This ain't free cell. These are our cells. Let's see if we find anything. Yeah, I had a feeling we might. Don't ask me why. I bet suspicion is probably going to get uh, a little higher on those confidential informants. But what can I say, you know? We got to act on the information that we get. Otherwise, why bother? All right, so doesn't that look nicer now that it's decked out like kind of a football field there? One last, uh, well, we've got more phone booths than like one last weight bench to install. Uh, there should be anyway. Can't fit it there anymore? What's the matter? I think it looks a little better anyway. I would like to dump this tree though. We're here for natural beauty, not, uh, you know, view disturbing trees. You already know how I feel about disturbances. What do you got on your freaking ground there? Did you throw up all over the ground? I thought our power went out temporarily. I was a little scared. All right. Doing pretty well. Now remember, you know, we need to buy more land soon. That probably means I should have saved money, but hey, that's is why I'm looking at tax reform because we're going to save more money as a result. It might put a, you know, a little bit of a problem with our uh, expansion for the meantime, but hey. Produce 10 superior beds. I don't even know if we're doing this yet. 
Education reform. I don't think we're close to having 20 people pass. Like, we might as well just activate this after we've had them pass. It looks like some people are about ready to finish. Are there any other grants that we can get cash from quickly? We could take a loan, but I'd rather not. Sure, let's do Carpentry apprentice, uh, Apprenticeship. We don't have any other grants on the go anyway. Gives us 20,000 right off the bat. Is there any way to see, like, what's being produced out of these areas? Because I think as of right now, it's just license plates. But, you know, we do have Carpenter's Tables. Sale price, 50 bucks? 10 bucks a license plate? That seems totally fair to me. Alright, so we can buy some land if we want to, but, uh, you know... That's probably not the best use of our resources right now. Our prisoners are arriving in 20 minutes. There's 12 of them. I'm a little frightened about the, uh, you know, how that's going to shake up our ecosystem here. So let's look at, oh, we got a reputation one. Richard Kenway. Not special. Kieran, Neo KMC Chaplin. Solely responsible for not one, but two massacres the whole country was talking about. The first a school in southern Australia where was targeted with all victims wearing pumped up kicks. Better run, better run. The second was a laser tag venue where people used to anger him. You gotta find a safe outlet for those urges, and if Prison Architect is that for you, then that's fine by me. Ron, the sweet genius Ben Israel, a famous pastry chef who owned a cooking show known as Sweet Genius. It was successful until it was leaked that he killed the contestants of the show afterwards in order to gain the abilities for himself. Rumors say he is a renowned demonic overlord in hell. Ed Levers! Nothing special. Gareth Stubbs. Alright. Richard Pigeon. He's got some kind of reputation. We don't know what it is. And Tim Batty. Again. We don't know what's going on with him. Estimated reoffending chance, 97. Beautiful. Do we have a grade yet, by the way? No. Six prisoners have been released. I think one's due to come out pretty soon. Ed Creaser. Great name. I like it a lot. Oh, we have another selection that I didn't look. Okay, so this guy's strong. Laura the Honey Snatcher Chang. Laura Honey Snatcher Chang is a pathological hatred of authority figured as, as figures and is considered highly dangerous and unstable. Frequently late for scheduled meetings, loves dogs. Other inmates refuse to comment on her nickname, citing fear of reprisal. Oh, don't mess around with this lady. She's got the same hairstyle I do. Stoical Ed Miller. Also the same hairstyle. Alright, this is a popular hairstyle. Nothing special there, nothing special there. All right. But well, we're making uh, fat stacks again. Yeah, this will be an important day to make sure everyone gets fed. And I like to keep it, you know, pretty simple for like a day after we take in a huge influx of prisoners. And you know what? Tomorrow, we have exactly the proper amount to make sure that our prison stays at like proper capacity. So I'm pretty excited about that. I'm a little concerned about the extraordinary amount of poison. Excuse me? Is there a riot in our classroom? What the hell happened here? This guy's dead! Duncan Swatton? This- I was just about to have a freaking... Oh... Okay, well we clearly need to station a guard inside of that room then. There goes our financial bonus. We don't have any- oh my god, two deaths today. Fantastic. Well, we'll wait for the hearse to show up, I guess. Way to go, you bunch of assholes. You disturbed our class. We were just about to have a bunch of people graduate, maybe. And, excuse me, confidential informants. Were they like ex-law enforcement we didn't know? Snitch, deadly. All right, yeah, you're on maximum security now, my friend. You know what? We're going to have to have different work periods. Oh. Oh, that... Oh. Well, I can't help but feel slightly responsible for the fact that our confidential informant ended up killed. What about you? We There's been a job opening. Sean Chisholm. No, I don't blame you. I can't force you into it. That would be unethical. I've got to wait for you to make that, you know, death sentence yourself, basically. All right. Fair enough. What about you? Paul Lindsay. Ten days in our prison. Hey, you're almost getting out. Just in time uh, to get resentenced. You know, officers, it's a little bit distracting to have this dead body in here while I'm trying to teach my class. Maybe you could uh, take him away. Well, that's unfortunate. He was a good snitch. What's it going on? Ugh. Uh. There's blood on my knife. I think I killed somebody. I know I killed somebody. So. 
I think we need to make it so the maximum security prisoners just never interact. But do we really have a period where they can, um... Where they can be... If I replace their yard period with work time... Yard, one, two, three... We only have like eight prisoners, so I don't know if it's like effective to actually do this. But we're going to try, maybe. And then give them free time here. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. If it results in less deaths, I'm open to the idea. Our yard looks so bad with those weight benches just like shoved in there, but hey. It's easier to just click and drag than it is to actually organize them properly. Everything's going relatively well, again, apart from the death today. Anybody interested in becoming a, uh... Oh my god, another riot? What the heck's happening? What's going wrong? Nobody's even mad! We got a guards. We need like three of you on canteen duty at any given time. Today was just a... A freaking disaster. We have five deaths today? Where's deaths? Days without incident, zero. Valuation, deaths in the past 24 hours, three. Minus 150,000, I guess nobody wants to deal with that. Fair enough. Well, on the bright side, we got a lot of more openings. Oh, you're gonna overdose on drugs, huh? Where are you taking these drugs from? Where's our medical bay? Where's our Michael bay? That's the other question. We need him to blow this shit up so we can be saved. And if you're saying, oh, this looks easy, you gotta play the new alpha, man. Uh, alpha 25 is, is really shaking things up here. I'm going to install a metal detector here, which actually should be able to tell me if uh, if people are stealing drugs from our prison. Or if from our medical bay. What about our cleaning cupboard? I mean, there's like poison in here. We should install like another metal detector here. And here. It's expensive, but, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. We gotta get our, uh, we gotta get our financial bonus back. That we're consistently losing here. Okay, potential CIs. Yes, we have one. Alright, James Codwalader. I remember you from when you came in. You're gonna be a, a CI for me. And you're a strong CI. I like that. You can take care of yourself. It's lo I knew it. I knew you were gonna be a superstar, Honey Snatcher. Welcome to the team. Alright, we're gonna try not to raise suspicion so quickly because uh, that's probably what kicked off this whole, you know, riot and mass murder today. So part of the problem is that our maximum security prisoners have eating time, and some minimum security prisoners just choose to sit in the cafeteria during this period. I'm not a fan of that. Uh, I would very much prefer if you guys were, like, locked up. And maximum security and protective custody have uh, free time at the same time. Well, I guess there's not that much we can do about that. We don't even have anybody in protective custody right now. I was just thinking for, like, future cases. So I don't think we're producing any superior beds right now. We might need like forestry for that or something. How about our programs? Six past our foundation education program. You know what? I consider that like a pretty strong positive. Let's take some time here and maybe look at our other programs. Guard taser certification. Led by a chief in a classroom. Session length one hour. For guards only. Sure, let's start it. Do we have a classroom for it? Yeah, okay. Uh, what about this? Led by a doctor in an infirmary? Yes, let's get uh, psychological, pharmalo pharmacological treatment of drug addiction going as well. Each prisoner requires a chair. Uh, well... You know, it's gonna be a little crowded in here. It's gonna be extraordinarily crowded. Let's see if we can get six prisoners going at the same time. Um, and these will all take place during the work period, I think, but we should probably do Carpentry ap Apprentice as well. Do we have space for it? 3 to 5 p.m. Alright, oh, so it's just gonna be for maximum security? Eeeh. Eeeh. We have two workshops, I guess, but, oh, whatever. So we have eight more prisoners arriving. We can now handle 11, because three people died yesterday. Hey, shit happens, I guess, right? What about grants? Do we have grants that we can draw from here? Well, we get 15,000 advance from education reform, but we're a long way out from uh, having five prisoners pass the GED. 
Inmate nutrition, I don't think is worth very much. Cell block C gives us 10,000 right out the bat. Eh, we can probably make do with that. The extra money is going to be important because we are going to need to buy some, uh, some more land. So tomorrow I wanted to play very close attention to how hygiene works and see if maybe uh, we need to build another shower. If we don't, sweet. If we do, I can handle it, but I'd rather keep the space for cells if we can. What are we going to buy next, by the way? Uh, we're we're going to buy like this place up here, I think. Although, actually, we don't need to buy more land. We'll just build out this way instead. But I'm happy to have the money regardless. Yeah. All right. Yesterday could have gone better, let's be honest. Oh, you know what? Planning. Oh, we're about to finish it. Let's see how much money we end up saving. Offshore tax saving, come on. Excuse me? I don't think it changed at all. We only pay 1% taxes. Oh, there it goes. Like 200 extra bucks a day at our current uh, revenue. That's only gonna get better, baby. So, planning. X the crap out of this. Good stuff. New prisoners are arriving very shortly. I want to pay close attention to them. Just spent a lot of money on uh, tasers, but I think that's for our uh, workshop program that's happening right now. Which fortunately is not seeming to take the time uh, that the work place takes. Although, maybe they're not in there yet. That's just the guards I put in there to look at it. Okay, new prisoners. X law enforcement. Bingo, buddy. Protective custody. Nothing else special about him that we know. Um, Adam Jackson. I'm sorry, Mr. Jackson. Santa the President Claus. After all the years of Santa being nice, he finally snapped and went on a murderer's killing spree at an orphanage. What? That's really rude, Santa. Atla... Scorpion Alrud. His brother got framed and sent to a prison game for the murder of the producer's brother. He got the I he get the idea to tattoo his body with the developer's alpha game code to break his brother out. But his broter is in alpha 16. The stolen code was alpha 15. Do do do. All right. I don't like this guy's eyes. He's freaking me out a little bit. Well, we got one guy in protective custody. Make sure that, you know, we don't single him out by putting him in a bright yellow jumpsuit or something like that. Anything that would make him easier to spot. So, we uh, turn off prisoner intake today. We have nine high-risk uh, prisoners now. Or nine uh, maximum security prisoners. Again, now we should go to our regime. And we need uh, to make sure there's no free time that overlaps. So, nine, eight, nine. Nine, eight, nine. Yeah, like all of the free time overlaps. So what we can do is go free time, free time, lock up, lock up. And then eight, you need to be locked up. All right. So that should make it so that we don't have uh, protective custody at the same time as... Uh, or we don't have them uh, having free time at the same time as maximum security. Which hopefully will minimize our problems here. Our danger is still looking pretty okay. We're probably spending way too much money on the few amount of prisoners that we have. But I'm content with that. Lots of drugs just made it into our prison. Not super thrilled about that, but that's okay. I'm going to take this opportunity to demolish our fences like here. And we're going to build basically like another cell block, probably with another shower area associated associated with it. But we'll put the shower area in like the top left to hopefully make it more feasible for our prisoners to uh, use that shower instead of the other one. Takes forever for our workmen to actually get to where they need to go here. But that's my own fault for designing the prison in this like very strange way. I know this prison is expanding like a little slower than the last one did, but uh, it's intentional to hope that the infrastructure is a little better. Plus, I, I can't stress enough that... Like, Alpha 25 really makes things difficult. Like, incidents happen so much more frequently. So, we're just going to build, uh, like, exactly out like this. And we want it to be at least the same size as this to begin with. So, how wide is this? That is uh, 21 blocks wide. 
We want it to be that wide so we can we know for sure that we can fit in that exact amount of cells. And again, we should uh, probably while we're doing this here, get this done. You know, place the electrical stuff. What I like uh, particularly about Alpha 25 is that it's less about just like iterating and more about dealing with problems as they arise because they do uh, arise quite frequently. That's not where I want this. So it's much more about actually like, uh, you know, having to deal with problems that pop up as opposed to just uh, the way Alpha 24 worked for me was I pretty much just kind of hung out and my prison ran itself. I could have turned prisoner intake off and left it on overnight. This is, a, you know, their words basically, not mine. But if I did that, we would be fine. Our prison would probably run okay. Maybe there would be a death. Maybe a riot or something, but uh, it's working fine for now. So, uh, this is the most prisoners we've ever had. We're just going to make sure that people are getting fed. It's late at night, and uh, not all of them have gotten meals. Yeah. It's not eating time yet, though. Eating time happens after, like, 6 p.m. Maximum eats first, and then there's a... Uh, minimum gets a chance. Our workmen are having a, a devil of a time making it uh, down to the foundation here. Which is actually completely sensible. Uh, but I was hoping maybe they'd be a little bit more efficient at this. I guess they're all busy installing those wires inside anyway. Uh, they can't install on these sections. I'm an idiot. I mean, I don't even think they need to. I kind of just did that to... Uh, just to do it. Just to make sure that we... Uh, like, for sure we're going to have electrical cables everywhere they needed to be. Well, our prison seems to have been run pretty well today. Uh, we're going to have people start to... Go to bed soon. 60% of prisoners have meals. Mm, food's mostly being taken care of. We still got people eating. Uh, it looks like maybe they all got meals now. It just took a while. Watching that red slowly go down. Hmm. And then we have our one protective custody who gets to eat now. Be careful on your way to the canteen. Where is he? I don't even see. Oh, there he is. All by myself. I want to be all by... Okay, let's activate these people here. Learn some information about uh, how our prison's going. Got a long way to go before this foundation gets built. Like how it tells me two families are waiting to visit. Yeah, it's freaking midnight. What do you think? What the heck's going on here? What the heck's going on here? We got we got problems. Search search cell. Search cell block. Oh no, that's too many. Turn it off. Turn it off. Oh Jesus. Uh 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 uh, uh nobody gets out. Nobody gets out. Free fire. Mm, I don't know about that. Where the heck are you even going with these tunnels, man? We're basically doing a shakedown here. Where is this tunnel? Do you see this? Oh, people, you guys are in for a, a rough night here. Was that our confidential informants that let us see that? What about down here in our other cell block? These guys, they're just, they keep to themselves. Well, I don't know what's going on down there. He might have, might have pooped himself, but uh, this needs to be, what is that, materials? Remove tunnels. God, I hate you guys. I hope I changed prison policy to make it so that they get sent to solitary for like five days. Oh, wait, 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 we found another tunnel down here. What's this? I was just talking about how much I like you guys. And then you apply these shenanigans. What can't you do here? Search toilet? Well, just get in. All right, well, you know, you do it to yourself. What? I'm hearing like a drill going off. What is even happening right now? Our workmen, I guess, are too busy finishing this foundation to actually fill in the tunnels. But that has really lowered our capacity because the cells don't count as cells anymore. Search toilet too dangerous. This might sound crazy, but I think I actually, like, handled it sort of properly. 
We had like a huge great escape attempt almost happen there and we foiled it. I think it might be thanks to our confidential informants. Thanks a lot, buddies. I appreciate that a great deal. Oh, wait, 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 wait. You? We didn't know you were ex-law enforcement when you came in? Are you ex-law enforcement? One second. Deployment. Oh, wait. Contraband. Informants. Ex-law enforcement. Alright, Richardson. Welcome to protective custody, buddy. Maybe you can help protect your friend. They should really let us know who the cops are on the way in. Just so... You know, we can help them. <laughs> I think that would be best. I also think that if you're strong and deadly... Like, not to typecast you, but I'm going to put you in max security. Just a little bit too risky. So our foundation's not getting built, but hopefully these tunnels start to be, you know, filled in. Yeah, you should really, like, let this guy out of the cell. Um, this man will kill him. Oh, really? Another, uh, another escape tool there, huh? Where the heck are all these tools coming from? I guess they're probably being fashioned up here in, like, these rooms. But they can't get out of here without going through a metal detector, can they? A metal detector should detect those tools even though they're not metal, and I understand that. They usually detect drugs. Drugs aren't metal. What a what a bunged up situation here. And trying to let you in here, but it's hard to do. Alright, fill in the tunnels, please. Alright, we finished searching all of our cells. That was one hell of a a productive night there, unfortunately. What did we just spend a bunch of money on? More tasers. I guess we completed the, the taser training program for some people. He's repairing the jail door, I think. Or install... Yeah, repairing the jail door. And fill in the tunnel. Hey, don't! He was looking like he wanted to fight. I don't think so, good sir. Not today. You've caused enough problems. Well, that's going to do it for today's episode. I didn't expect things to get uh, that silly. But in any case, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did... Click the like button, helps out a great deal, and of course subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.